This submitter was headed to a stag party with his friends. They were all excited, but the mood in the car changed rather quickly when an older man in a Renault Kangoo ran a stop sign. The man driving the Renault had been blinded by the sun when he looked to his left, and when he turned his head to the right, he couldn't see the Tesla. Our submitter was driving at 50 miles per hour, so there was no time for him to react. The Renault T-boned the Tesla, spinning it into a traffic sign and sending it flying. Luckily, the submitter and his friends in the Tesla were uninjured. The driver of the Renault was dizzy and shaken up, but our submitter was able to calm him down. The initial repair estimate came in at 30,000 US dollars, but once disassembly had started, it was determined that the car was totaled. The insurance company paid for the full value of a new car, and our submitter ordered a new Model 3, which will be delivered within a few months. His Tesla had previously been customized with a matte black nice. wrap, JR3 wheels, and he'd even replaced the Tesla logo with a Batman emblem. Seifo was driving his Model 3 home to San Jose, California after getting a haircut. That's when a lady hit the right side of his car while pulling out of her driveway. She decided to pull out even though her view had been blocked by cars parked on the street. Autopilot wasn't engaged, but Seifo says the initial swerve to the left was performed by the car anyway. He performed his own maneuver which caused him to hit the hedge on the left. The right front axle was broken and Seifo couldn't move the car out of the way. Everyone involved in the accident, including Seifo's passenger, was fine and nobody needed medical attention. Seifo did call 911 though since he couldn't move the car out of the way and they sent a tow truck. The other party accepted responsibility for the accident right away. The initial inspection was done by a Tesla certified repair shop. They stopped checking for more damage once the estimate reached over 35,000 US dollars. Tesla insurance deemed the car a total loss. Seifo told us it's been almost a month since the accident, but he's still waiting on Tesla insurance to write him a check. He thinks they're having trouble figuring out how much they should give him. Seifo wanted to shout out his barber Zaza, who works at the Burlingame Barbershop for giving him the most expensive haircut he's ever had. But he'd do it again, even if he had to ride his bike all the way there. Mohammed had parked his Model 3 in New York City while he was at work. During a meeting, he got a notification that the alarm on his Tesla had been triggered, but he couldn't leave the meeting to investigate. About an hour later, he went to his car and immediately jumped in to review the sentry mode footage. Can you guess what he found? It was a Honda bump. Mohammed jumped out of the car to inspect the damage to the rear bumper. After the impact, we can see they did a quick driver swap before making their getaway. She ran off without leaving a note, making this a hit and run, but the sentry mode footage made it extremely easy to find her. The police weren't very helpful, so Mohammed ended up retrieving all her insurance information himself. Mohammed filed an insurance claim, and the repair estimate was almost 2,000 US dollars, with almost 1,700 of that being labor. Andrew was driving in San Francisco when he pulled up next to an SUV. That's when he heard the driver screaming. She seemed to be having a very heated argument with someone, either a passenger or someone on the phone. Suddenly, BAM, she hit the car in front of her. She immediately shifted to reverse and started making her escape. Andrew quickly pulled over to avoid becoming her second victim, having no idea what her mental state was. She backed up and sped away through a Whole Foods parking lot while the people from the Jeep she'd hit chased her on foot. She got away, but the driver of the Jeep was happy to get a copy of Andrew's Tesla cam footage when they came back. This submitter was driving his Model 3 on Highway 401 in Canada. He was in the middle lane when a blue Genesis started overtaking him on the right. Everything seemed fine, so our submitter didn't think anything of it. But then, the Genesis changed lanes before smashing into the back of a semi-truck in the right lane. The driver of the Genesis managed to maintain control of the car and stopped safely on the shoulder. We're wondering what was going on here? A bit distracted by their phone, perhaps? Steve was driving his Model 3 in Rhode Island when he suddenly heard the buzzing sound of 1.21 gigawatts zipping past him. Steve was amazed that McFly had flown by him. Okay, I'm not doing well coming up with dad jokes. Let's run another contest. If you could jump in the DeLorean and travel to any time and any place, where would you go and why? Let us know in the comments and our favorite answer will win a Wham Bam hoodie. Ian was making his weekly shopping trip to the supermarket when he saw the cart demon rolling down the hill. 
It looked like the cart was going to hit a Range Rover, but it just missed. Instead, it headed back to the cart corral to put itself away. Ian thought he'd give it a helping hand just in case it changed its mind. We've got to say, Ian really has that cool guy walk. You know how they say cool guys don't look back at explosions? Well, apparently cool guys don't look at cart demons either. Isaac was heading back home after a road trip at about 2 a.m. He was using the full self-driving beta when the car suddenly sounded an alert. Sure enough, headlights were coming toward him on his side of the highway. They clearly should have been on the other side of the median. Isaac laid on his horn as the car barreled straight toward him. He disengaged FSD beta and tried to get as far away from the crazy driver as he could. Pablo was driving southbound on Highway 99 at about 60 miles per hour. A distracted driver suddenly appeared behind him and slammed on the brakes as they headed toward his brand new Model S. It's a miracle the Toyota didn't actually hit Pablo's Tesla, coming within an inch of his rear bumper. He was pretty shaken up, but thankful it ended as well as it did. As Daniel got onto a highway on his way out of Kingston, he merged behind a pickup truck. He had a bad feeling about this pickup truck, but he didn't know why. A few seconds later, the pickup driver noticed his Tesla and tossed a crushed soda can out the window at him. The soda can nailed Daniel's hood and he was worried it may have left a large dent or at least a scratch. When he stopped at a supercharger to inspect his car, Daniel found a small chip in his hood that he'd never seen before. Marcel was driving his Model Y home from work in Tampa Bay, Florida when he saw a bright blue meteor fall from the sky. Oh man, that was a big one. I guess that means Marcel gets a big wish granted. He decided he'd wish that all our viewers would subscribe to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Aww. Michael was driving his Model 3 in Gainesville, Florida. A car ran a red light and crashed into a white Kia Soul. Michael stopped to make sure everyone was okay, which they were. Superman was waiting in line at a Chick-fil-A drive-thru. The driver of the Dodge in front of him decided to litter by throwing an empty paper cup into the bushes. Why? Why do people do this? What is wrong with people? Pete came back to his car after an evening of karaoke only to find that his Tesla had scared the of a guy walking past the car. Hemo was on his way to work when he noticed a red Cadillac on the shoulder. He had a good amount of distance between him and the ram in front of him, so when it drove past the red car, Hema started to pick up speed. All of a sudden, the Cadillac pulled right in front of Hema and he had to slam on his brakes. He couldn't figure out what was wrong with the car, but it seemed to be experiencing some sort of steering malfunction as it crawled onto the grass on the opposite side. Delanium had parked his Model Y on the street in Ottawa, Ontario, plugging in at a public charging station before leaving. Suddenly, he got a notification alerting him that charging had stopped. When he got back to his car, he found this sentry mode video of a guy walking by his Tesla and noticing it charging. For some reason, he decided that it was his mission to set the charger free from the Tesla. He walked around the car and started jerking on the charger. Since it was a public charger, the handle wasn't locked into the car and he was able to unplug it. Then he hung the cord back nicely on the charger. Why do you think he did this? Mario had parked his Model 3 in a parking lot in Spain. When he got back, he found this video. A group of people had walked up and stopped behind the car. It looks like they debated for a while before one of them pulled out a can of spray paint and walked to the side of the Tesla. He sat down beside the car. At that exact moment, a family walked by in activated sentry mode, flashing the headlights. This spooked the guy who got up and left. As a disclaimer, we have no idea what the guy was planning on doing, but Sentry Mode definitely stopped some suspicious behavior. Pete was driving home and noticed something you don't see every day, a T-Rex yard decoration. Pete told us he just knew he had to capture this for the Wham Bam Tesla Cam viewers.
Bobby also encountered something unusual when he pulled up next to this guy. He thought this was a great example of old versus new. Bobby gave him a thumbs up, but the guy wasn't too interested. Wolf was cruising in the HOV lane with autopilot engaged when he noticed cars ahead braking and swerving away from something. That's when a giant burrito came into view and autopilot failed to detect it at all. Wolf took evasive action and avoided a collision with inches to spare. You know what you say when you finish eating a burrito? That's a wrap.